Hi, guys. Are you that feels a little bit bad about your first touchdown catch? Why? Because I grinched it? No. I think I've had five touchdowns taken away from penalties, so I'm going to get them whenever they're available. What, what, uh, what did you see to make you take your route in that direction? Wide open space. I think the other safety was like outside the opposite hash, and the other guy was not even on the field, basically. And I was like, well, I'm not going to run and get covered. That doesn't sound like a good idea. It was funny, too. I think uh, Coach Shanahan, Thursday morning, because we ran that route on Wednesday, he coached it on Thursday morning. He goes, even if there's space, you got to run across the field so the post is wide open. I was like, eh, touchdown. <laughs> is what it is. When he came up on, like, when he got over my shoulder, I thought it was a safety trying to get the ball out, and it actually scared me. And then he was in my ear going, you stole my touchdown. I was like, ah, <laughs> my bad. Not really. Can I reprimand you for that? Oh, he probably will. I'll get coached on it on Monday, I think. Yeah, we'll get coached on Monday. But, um, yeah, it's a touchdown, and it is what it is. You put so much into this, and you're not big on – revealing everything that your body is feeling, but it looks like at this point of the year, you're pretty fresh. Just how, does it, how does it feel to be, to feel that good physically this late in the year? Wonderful. Yeah. It feels wonderful. Um, no, I think, um, I don't know, Coach Shannon always talks about you build a callus throughout the year. You just kind of get used, your body gets used to football. You get used to the hits. Um, you get used to the grind. But um, not having to deal with like anything that's just kind of, I mean, whether it was Achilles last year, um, or just like random knee stuff, you know, getting hit weird. Um, I've, I've been very fortunate, and that's just you got to get lucky in football sometimes because I know there's guys on our team right now that are dealing with stuff that's, you know, very painful to play through every day, and we're all dealing with some type of stuff, And but um, whatever I'm dealing with right now is luckily not affecting my play. You were the second touchdown. Go ahead. Not 200, 200 yards and two touchdowns in the second half, but it, it's kind of doesn't feel like it's that big a deal anymore. I, I mean, do you feel like he's kind of just settling in to – and you guys are just confident in what he can do? I mean, Brock's confidence that he brings in every single day makes us all very confident. Um, we know that he's going to make plays with his legs. Uh, he's fantastic about rolling now, keeping his eyes upfield. I mean, he makes guys miss in the backfield. He's such an athlete. He's good with the football. He doesn't make stupid throws. I mean, you can just tell he's taken tens of thousands of, rep, tens of, thousands of reps at quarterback. And um, that's... I think that's very helpful for him right now, and it's a reason that he's been able to step in this late in the season and play at a high level. On the second touchdown, I think you guys have run the same you know, look a couple of times and actually pitched it to McCaffrey. When that play call comes in, do you have an idea that that's going to be there like that for you, knowing that you've done, you know, set it up? Like Based on the look, and then, I mean, it was a run play. We canned it to the play or the keeper. Um, I called touchdown in the huddle. I said, hey, if you guys block down, because it's made, the whole thing is if you can it, the guy's on the left side of the field, uh, whether, I think it was Jawan and Ayuk. I, Jawan has like a go, and Ayuk has a deep comeback. And basically it's, if George gets the ball, you guys are lead blockers. And uh, based on their defense and look that I saw, the backers completely overplayed it. Um, I didn't know 100% if I get the ball in that space. And I mean, Juwan, um, I know he had one really weird play today, but besides that, I mean, Ayuk's long run and my touchdown, he was blocking. Um, the amount of, like, what he brings, Juwan, it's incredible. Uh, his downfield presence, he's always, his effort on every single play. I love playing with a guy like that. I know you didn't ask me about Juwan, but that needs to be recognized because he's phenomenal. So that play came in as a run and, and can to the throw. Yeah, so, was, yeah, toss 18, can, why shallow? You good? <laughs> You called Nick Bosa the best player in the league. Yeah. Punch now. But you guys believe me yet? Yeah. Well, so, so seeing him play like that, I mean, obviously he's not on your side of the ball, but what, what do you make of just the zone he's in in this moment? I'm happy I play for the Niners. I wouldn't want to be a tight end that has to play against him. I mean, he's better than everybody else. He's a better athlete. He's stronger. He's faster. Um, he's so smart. His, his, uh, the moves that he does, he's so creative. He's so good at getting his hand, uh, like offensive lineman's hands off of him. Uh, his effort is always there. And, uh, I mean, when Bosa gets a sack, it just kind of ignites the entire team, too. You can feel in the stadium, too, because, uh, I mean, one thing that we noticed, like, our, I, I don't know if our team was kind of flat. It felt like in the beginning of the game. But, like, once Bosa got one, it just felt like the whole thing, like, just like a waterfall just came through. And our whole team had this energy to us, and everyone was just going with it. And, I mean, Bosa's, I mean, he's really the key.
I know like Fred Warner's fantastic, our defense is playing at a high level, but when you have the game plan for Nick Bosa, it just allows all those guys to be so much better. I know stats aren't the biggest thing, but to see him go get close to 20, maybe, I mean, the record is 22. Are these things a team's thinking about? I'm thinking about it. I mean, I, I mean, he's going to, I think today secured his defensive MVP. I don't know how it doesn't. And if you look at like what he does every day compared to every Sunday compared to everyone else around the league, whether it's offense or defense, I don't know why he's not in the MVP conversation too. Um, he's the most talented player on the field, I think, besides Trent Williams. But I don't think they're going to give offense, I mean, MVP to an offensive lineman. But um, every single day, he's just an absolute monster. Um, all those sacks, they're earned and deserved. Uh, he's fantastic, and he's never not good. George, I know it's only been a couple of games, but are you starting to feel a special connection with Brock now, especially after these past two games? Yeah, I mean, uh, he told me he was going to feed me, and that's what he's doing. Uh, he's just getting the ball to us. Like I say, he, he's great with the football. He puts it on target. Uh, he allows guys to run with it. He's, he's super savvy in the backfield, makes guys miss. Uh, he's, his confidence is through the roof right now, and I don't know why it wouldn't be. I mean, he's playing really well. He, I think he has a really good grasp for this offense. I will say, if he didn't go to Iowa State, I think he would have led me on the last play, and that would have been a touchdown. But I'll let that one slide because it's Christmas. But uh, you know, bless his heart, he's playing at such a high level. George, you made a little bit of history today, actually. Did I? You did. What I do? Uh, you're the first 49er pass catcher to have back-to-back -back games with multiple touchdowns since T.O. and O2. <sighs> I love T.O. Um, football is all about taking advantage of the opportunity. I got a couple ops today, and um, you just. I just ran with it, and Coach Shanahan's feeling it. I had a lot of plays up this week. It was really fun, um, and like our team's playing at a high level. Uh, we had a couple mistakes on offense, but I think we're going to clean those up. I think we we're better than last week. We were in Seattle. Our defense continued to play at a high level. Some things we got to finish in the red zone, but no, it's uh, it's fun to do stuff like that. But I mean, I can't do that without anybody else on the team. Brock made a similar Five joke four. on the uh, Iowa. Say it again, sorry, Q, sir. Brock made a similar joke to you as to the Iowa Iowa State. What do you say? Robert, he just said he may have. Tried harder to get you that third touchdown. Said it would have been too many for a hop. So like I already told him the joke that I just told you guys. So he came here prepared. He yeah, he stole my material. <laughs> hey, you know what? Um, it's Christmas. We're all giving. Some of us are Grinches. It is what it is. Niners win. Um, and goodness gracious, we're gonna go to Las Vegas next week. How fun is that gonna be? Mm, I get to play Chandler Jones again. He's really good at football. Thanks, guys.